Yo! Welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, we're going to be talking about the Craft Connector. Now, as always, if you enjoy this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with any help that you may need in the game, or what do you use your Craft Connector for? But... Let's do this. Now, before we get started, I just want to say I hope you've all had an amazing Christmas. I certainly have. It's been so much fun with all my family and just all the food. It's just been a great time. So I hope you've had a great time too. But we're back on our grind now. You may have also seen today that I uploaded episode one of my age progression series. With that series, I will be uploading a new episode of it every single day. Up until we're caught up until there's no more ages to cover. We are now waiting for the release of the age of gods and i want to cover that the moment it comes out so i only felt right to cover all the previous ages as well to make sure that i've covered everything that i can in the game but today we are going to be talking about the craft connector and what exactly it is used for and why it is one of my favorite items in the game so if we head into our workbench and we scroll down to module you will see here we have a craft connector now they're very easy to make they only require silver ingots bioethanol and batteries but you probably are going to want to make a few of them but they're very useful either individual or by using a lot of them for different resources so i have a stack of craft connectors on me so let's go through exactly what they're used for now here we have this little demonstration I have set up here. Now this is going to show you exactly why the craft connectors are great and what exactly they do. So let's start off with this cooking pot here. So with a cooking pot, if I was to come into here and I want to cook up anything, for example, maybe I want to make a bunch of bread. Now I can make up to 100 bread and that's great. However, what if it's something that I want to keep going? I want it to keep making it forever. Well, that is exactly where the craft connector will come in handy. So rather than making either 100 at a time or making them individually, the craft connector will allow me to remove that limit of 100 bread. So what I would do is I would equip the craft connector and I'm going to place it on the side of this chest. Now, as you can see, it looks like a little a little satellite dish and that's going to ping a laser across to a connector that does that automatically so if i take that back off and i place it on you will see it just does it by itself it will just automatically connect across in the direction that you've placed it so if you place it on the sides it will look to point out the sides so now when i head into the cooking pot and i go down to the bread I can now select infinite, which will mean this will forever run as long as this chest has some wheat flour in it. So if I put a hundred wheat flour in there, we will see that will ping across and that will start making bread. There we go. So that will forever make, but the only problem is, is this won't now stack 100 it will need collecting as soon as it's collected it will start up another batch so you are also going to want to use droppers now we're not really going to cover absorbers and droppers today but i'm just going to give you guys a very quick brief of what they are absorbers and droppers can also be created in the module section they are very easy to make absorbers suck items in droppers shoot items out meaning we can place a dropper onto this cooking pot and the bread will be automatically fired out. So then it will be made again. And then when the dropper resets, that will fire again. But we could put multiple down to remove that reset time and allow it to just keep rapidly firing. So it will never pause between having a full bread. It will just fire it out straight away. So you can do this on any item by placing a dropper. Then what you would normally do is place down a chest of some kind with an absorber on it. And that would then suck those items in and that would allow you to do automations. And we can also do that same thing for other builds as well. So if we place another craft connector onto this chest here, it will connect across to this furniture stand. We're going to do the same one on here across to the aging facility. Now I can now enter this furniture workbench. Let's just say I want to make some of these wooden floors. I would select infinite and I would press auto craft again. But we need to put the logs in here first of all. That might help. There we go. Now the logs are in there. That will now start up and that will start crafting those again. And again we could put a dropper to collect it 
Now, one of the most common uses for a craft connector is actually an aging facility. And the reason for that is because bioethanol takes so long to make. So this allows us just to set it to an auto craft, go into our chest with some wheat flour in there, or have that chest absorbing wheat flour from some kind of farm you have set up so you have an infinite flow of the wheat flour going in and an infinite flow of bioethanol coming out. Now, as you can also see, the bioethanol takes a very long time. It actually takes a lot longer than what it will take you to gather up a bunch of wheat flour if you had a farm attached to this. So I'm going to use these cookers here to demonstrate what we would do to counter that. So we're going to go back to doing it with the bread, but usually you would do it with something like an aging facility on something that takes a long time, maybe saltpeter or something along those lines. But what you would do is you would equip your craft connector again, and you would place them on either side side of the chest. This allows double the output. So you would then fill the inside of the chest with your wheat flour or whatever you're doing, head into the cooking pot, go down to the bread, put that to auto, put this one to the same or something different if you wanted that kind of setup. So now, as you can see, one chest is now outputting double the amount of flour to be done, especially useful if you're doing the bioethanol, as bioethanol is very slow. Now, you can continue this. You can actually put multiple down, so you could put one on the front, you could put one on the back, maybe elevate the chest, have one on the top and one on the bottom if you want. But my point is each craft connector will connect to its own build, allowing you to automate any of these processes. And you can do the same even just with a standard workbench. So any of this can now be auto crafted. So maybe you want to set up an infinite supply of the floors or walls or clay, whatever it is. You can do that from here just by setting the auto craft, coming in here and chucking in some stone. There we go, we've now got an automatic floor maker, which again, we would add in the droppers and the absorbers, go along to whatever we wish. Let's take the bioethanol, for example, place that on here, that bioethanol is now going to be fired out. Now, because of the amount of time it takes to make one bioethanol, we wouldn't need to put another dropper because it will reset by the time another bioethanol is ready. But if it's something that outputs fast, like the bread or the walls or whatever it is, you're going to want to use multiple droppers. So as you may know, I am huge on my automations. I absolutely love automations. And this item was actually added quite early on. And it's been a lifesaver, especially before you get to the more advanced ages where you actually get all the automated furnaces and things like that this is just an easy way to automate anything you like anything that is a crafting bench essentially whether that's a furnace a blacksmith whatever it is you can use a craft connector on it and automate any process that you wish this is just a great item that you can get very early on and i would highly recommend looking into it if you're just starting out if you're already in the advanced ages you may not have a lot of uses for this because you already have things like the auto cooker but before you get all of that, you get the craft connector and it allows you to do some very simple builds. Now, I am fully progressed in the game and I still use craft connectors purely because of how much smaller you can make builds. So if you think about it, this here is smaller than an auto cooker. An auto cooker is huge. You then need the conveyor belt system. It's a whole bigger build. This, you can make everything a lot smaller. If I wish, I could actually place down a chest as close as I like. I could go here, I could then place a craft connector onto it, and it will still do the same process. Look how close that is. So it means if I didn't want this one here, for example, I could have my build as small as this, which is very nice because all of the auto machines are huge. So this is a nice little space saver and it does the exact same job. The only thing is with this, you have to use droppers, whereas the auto machines actually convey about the items out. But again, with the option of droppers, you could choose it however you want. You could have a vertical auto cooker or whatever you want. The choice is yours. The customization is just a lot more free using a craft connector. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe. But comment down below of any help that you may need in the game or what do you use your craft connector for? Do you use a craft connector over an auto machine or did you just forget the craft connector existed once you unlocked all of those auto machines? Remember to join our Discord. The links will be down in the description below. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!